and his body was exposed to the unholy gaze of the mob. How intense were the sufferings of Christ. He suffered in sevenfold manners. I'm going to use perfection as much as I can. He suffered at the hands of Satan while he was being tempted. He suffered at the hands of God as a surety for us. For the word says Christ has suffered for us. He suffered by way of anticipation. The cross was ever before him. The Son of Man must suffer many things. He suffered at the hands of friends. Judas betrayed him. And all his disciples, all of them, forsook him. He suffered as his holy soul came in contact with sin. Why hast thou forsaken him? He suffers in his members. He suffers at the hands of his enemies. Christ suffered for us. But in that, in his suffering, he completed his mission. He can say, yes, they lied on me. Yes, they betrayed me. Yes, they did everything to me. But Father, forgive them. For they do not know what they do. Let them join me in paradise. Woe and behold thy son. Lord, continue to provide for them. But let's look at our mission. Let's see how we're going to do. Because one day we're going to stand in front of this judge. One day we're going to have to put on our own little presentation. That may be tonight. We don't know when we're going to be called to glory. So this is what you got to cover. These are the seven things you got to cover in your presentation. This is our mission. It's one of what are we committed to. So what God wants to see from us is he wants to see that we committed ourselves unto him. That we be kept by the Holy Spirit within and by the Lord who encamped around about us. He wants to see us commit our soul unto him. Suffering we shall have. But if we keep committing ourselves and our souls unto the Lord, and well doing. Amen. You know, as those three Hebrew boys did. What are their names got? <laughs> a bad Negro, right? Yeah, yeah, I remember those. You know, we shall live like them, and we shall be like them, that our bonds will be cut loose, and we will gain the company of Jesus. We could commit our spirit unto him. And to thy hand I commit my spirit. Jesus was quoting Psalm 33, 5. If the Lord has control of our spirit, guess what? He will control us all together. If we commit our way unto him, if we commit our way unto him, we shall never stray from him. If we commit our works unto him, if the Lord controls the works and the workers, there will be no clashing in the working. We have too much clashing in the working around here. If we commit our burden unto him, if the Lord is our burden bearer, we shall be free to bear one another's burdens. If we commit our care unto him, if we cast all of our cares upon him, he will take care of us. Then, once we do all those commitments, once we make an honor, all seven of those commitments, then and only then can we be crucified to the world. We can be crucified to the world's sin, to the world's wisdom, to the world's friendship, to the world's things, to the world's pollution, to the world's elements, to the world's contamination, to the world's corruption, to the world's cares, filth, and to the world's spirit. We can say goodbye to all that. And once we do that, 
Once we're able to say, Father, into your hands, into your hands, I commit my spirit. To be able to say that with assurance to know that you've completed your mission. That you've done what God has called you to do. That you put others first. That you love God the most. That you sought first the kingdom of heaven and this righteousness. You can stand before him and say, I'm next. I'm ready to give my PowerPoint. I'm ready to walk all around in heaven. I'm ready to put on my robe and my shoes and walk around heaven all day. I'm going to see what Moses is up to today. So once we do this and we're placed in his hand, that exalted hand, that purposing hand, that healing hand, that honoring hand, that delivering hand, that converting hand, that judging hand. We will have the power of Christ, the power of God through Christ's blood on the cross. We will have the power to reconcile, to be reconciled to God. We will have the power to be separate from the world, to exalt to the highest place, to enter into his throne room. We have the power to extinguish this flesh, to put the old man and his deeds behind you, to ignore our sinful self, and to set forth Christ before others. We, as heirs to the kingdom, will be able to say confidently, boldly, and with a loud voice, Father, into your hands, I commit my spirit. Praise God.